Hey there and welcome. I'm Kimber Domke, mindful food and fitness coach, coming to you from stunning Split Croatia and going to share with you a few stretches for the hips, lower back, etc. that I love to use uh, because this morning I did probably a thousand stairs and tomorrow I'm going to be in the car quite a bit driving. So let's get started. Let's get started in the 90-90 position with one leg turned in and one leg turned out and we'll feel the energy of legs pressing into ground and our spine up super tall, super tall. So if you want to be more active in this, just think of how your legs are pressing into the ground more thoroughly as your spine lifts up, your waist pulls in. And then we'll just take a nice forward fold over the front leg. Come on up and we'll press down into the legs again. This time, making sure your ankles are a little more strongly flexed. Again, spine lifts up. If you want to add a little bit of arms reaching forward, that's great. You feel your shoulder depression. And take that forward fold. This time, crawl to your, away from your feet or toward your front leg. side so externally rotate one leg try to feel your knees stay wide apart here your feet are left in their position and here we are on side two if you need to reposition a little make that adjustment and then press legs hard into the ground feel the response of your outer glute side butt area and your chest lifted up super tall take that forward fold over the turned out leg away from your feet, or in my case, towards the swimming pool. Come on back up, nice and tall, and we'll do a little bit of rotation now from side to side. So turning one leg out to let the other knee turn in and give your spine a little extra rotation here as well out to the Adriatic Sea here in Croatia. I highly recommend visiting if you have the opportunity. And let that spine do a beautiful twist. I can almost feel, I can feel that outer glute cramping on. That excites me. The cramps are a sign that we're working into new ranges and getting a little bit more ownership of those ranges. Let's try a couple with the arms reaching up. Arms reach up. And one more time, reaching, reaching up to the sky. All right, back to side one. I'm gonna do a little bit of internal and external rotation just for my front leg. So front leg, try, this one's super hard for me, but front leg trying to lift the ankle and relax it down. If you don't succeed at this, don't worry, just lean a little bit away and see if you can get a little bit of that energy of the front ankle lifting. And one more time, front ankle lifting. <sighs> okay, front knee lifting, much easier. Front knee lifting still could be very challenging, so it really depends where your easier ranges of motion are. And when you lower it down, be sure to press it down. We'll do it two more times. Let's take it to the back leg now. Back ankle lifting. Ideally, we're sitting up tall, feeling both sits bones reaching towards the ground. 
press that ankle into ground. Then we'll give it two more shots, lifting it, pressing down. Last time, lifting and down. We'll do the back knee lifting now. So back knee lifting, keep the front leg entirely down and press back leg into ground. We'll do it twice more. Little lift. Enjoy your breath. Enjoy all of this juicy outer hip work and activation. And the last one will take us over to side two. All right, we've arrived at side two. Make your adjustment, trying to get your legs to look like they're at 90 degree angles. And here we go with the front ankle lifting. Once again, probably my toughest one here. Front ankle lifting, just the energy of it totally counts as doing the work. If you need to have a little cheat, just lean away in a way that helps you unweight the ankle from the ground. Press it down. We'll give it two more tries. Lifting. Pressing down. Sit up a little taller, friends. Last one for this ankle lift. where I actually feel it is my non-working side that's just anchoring into the floor. Non-moving side, I should say. Of course, it's still working. And twice more lifting. More challenging with no hands. Last time, last time, lift that front knee. And then we'll focus on the back leg. Back leg, ankle, squeeze it on up. Lowering, press down to feel tall. Lift that ankle up. Press down. You've got one more for this one. Lifting. Lowering and finally that back knee lifts. Here we go. Lift that back knee up. Taking a couple seconds. Pressing it down into the floor. And twice more. Lifting, lifting. Feel that spinning of the thigh bone in the hip joint, in the hip socket. Pressing, you've got one more. Lifting, lifting. There we go. And let's take a straddle stretch here. Straddle. I just finished off a class with this one. So active and passive straddle. Here we go. We're going to try to feel our legs pressing apart. So they're pressing widening apart from each other to activate our outer glutes. Feel your spine up super tall. You can take anywhere five to even 20 seconds turning on and pressing into this stretch that helps you stretch the inner thighs, of course. And then you can lean forward as little or as much as your body permits, as little or as much as you like. We'll give that two more tries. Here we go. Round two. Let's take our arms forward, flex the ankles stronger, and press the legs down into the floor as they spread apart. So we're pressing more energy down this time in addition to outwards and apart. Ooh, I feel my side butt just on fire at this point, which is fantastic. Hope you're feeling yours, and you can always message me if you're struggling to find it. Here we go, folding forward. You can let the legs relax a little bit, but important that you not feel stress or strain in the knees. Just that second time, let me get a lot closer to the ground. Let me feel my spine a lot longer. And final one, here we go. Press it out. Feeling a little Cirque du Soleil in this moment. sink yourself down. All right, we'll crawl over to one leg to finish this off. Change it into a side bend, stretching over to the side. Crawl it over to side two. Just going where your body permits. Your body is not mine. Mine is not yours. We all look and feel a little differently doing this. Trying to keep both sits bones down. And bring yourself back to 
center, let your neck relax. Rolling up to sit. And thank you so much. Have an amazing day and thanks for coming for this little bit of hip and leg stretch with Kipper. Take a girl, have a great one. Okay, it's not fair for me to have you right by the poolside and not show you the rest of the view. So here we are with a quick 360 in Split Croatia atop the Brieg Boutique Hotel in the gorgeous landscapes of Dalmatia. I'll move over. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. And if you have questions, don't be shy. Reach out to Kimber Domke. And you can find my website, KimberDomke.com, Mindful Food and Fitness Coach. Cheers and best wishes for all of the health and fitness and food that you so deserve and desire.